Hey guys, welcome back. It is Skyridge time. Uh, yes, not this Skyridge. We're going to be taking a look at a different box of Skyridge uh, that was almost sold to someone or that was trying to be sold to someone. It got opened in front of the seller and uh, oopsie doopsie, it uh, was a repackage. So with Skyridge, with any old booster box, Anything that has some sort of value to it, whether it's older or even semi, semi modern, semi, semi, semi vintage, it, you got to be careful. There is a fake wrap. We've seen a fake wrap. We've seen other magic products used to wrap uh, vintage Pokemon boxes, uh, and they can they can be pretty believable. So everything involved needs to be a okay. You need to be looking for signs of of um, wrongdoing left right and center uh and mainly i mean it's going to be hard in these videos uh even I, i've watched them through uh a time time or two and the quality on the video is not so great chances are if someone's selling you something that isn't the real deal uh they're not going to take great photos they'll blame it on the fact that their flip phone uh had you know butt grease on it and for that reason and that their lights don't work they, they got the power bill shut off uh, but for some reason they have this box of sky ridge sitting on their coffee table uh, between their stepsister's legs. Uh, she's trying to divert your attention to her big ass boobies, but you're, you're focused in, you want the sky Ridge box. And uh, that's what we're going to look at today. So just taking a look at this. Um, I think it can or cannot have the, again, this is all stuff that you need to like research. If you're looking at a certain box, you need to be taking a look at many examples of what the real deal should look like. Uh, to see if there's any discrepancies whatsoever. Um, this this little sticker here, the e-reader sticker, I believe that can be on there or not on there. I feel like I probably learned at one point in time why or how often or certain regions had the sticker, but others didn't. But it's uh, it's there. It's there on this one. Again, that's going to be one of those details that they're probably not going to fake that if they don't have to. If there are examples without it, they're probably going to avoid doing that altogether. If they're rewrapping this bad boy, then okay, we're we're in we're in the territory where we're gonna assume um, because the box looks fine, we're going to oh no, it does it does have the uh, it does have the sticker on it. Okay, I lied, I lied. It does have this the I guess I guess that's directly on the box, right? I should have looked this up before the video, but uh, someone in the comment section will surely let me know uh, what's going on with that. I don't own any Sky Ridge. Uh, I've never owned a Sky Ridge booster box, but I get all the time people are asking me, hey. This is a real box. We got to look for differences. Spot the differences. Let's open this bad boy up and see what happened at this this event. Now, now we're going to read this first. I'm sorry. I know the video played for half a second. People got excited. You're screaming. Rattle, play the video. I'm playing it in just a second. All right. Cards by Chris is the person that, uh, that was going to buy this box uh, that wasted way too much of their time going to meet this person. So here it is. And they say it. Here it is. As much as I could post from the original video, I saw a Skyridge box posted for sale on Facebook Marketplace. The seller had no backstory. Oh, no. To where the box came from. The seller had no references and wasn't part of the Pokemon community. All right. We're going to play the uh, how many how many red flags are here game down in the comment section. The seller produced tagged photos and videos, name and date on piece of paper with the product. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you probably also probably you should ask them for a photo of them with their ID. Uh, I think it's pretty reasonable when you're dealing in the tens of thousands of dollars. Maybe that's just me. Also, when they want to when they want to meet someone, when they want to meet you somewhere that isn't their house, that like they're gonna go out of their way and they're like making sure they go out of their way. Uh, they don't they, they don't want you to know where they live. Uh, that kind of thing. I mean, it's kind of understandable with something expensive. Maybe you want to meet somewhere like a bank or, or something like that uh, where there's witnesses, where there's cameras, where there's security so you don't just get stabbed and they take your money and the Sky Ridge box. They say, I have never owned or nor held a Sky Ridge box before, so I sent the photos and, to, and videos to many people in the community that have many people believed that the box and seal looked authentic, so I proceeded with driving four hours or so to Baltimore, Maryland to meet Justin Max Anderson. Oh no, it's a J-boy. All right, that's a, that's a bonus point for the red flags. I chose to meet at a bank, which I felt was a safe place for myself. I had expressed my concern with the legitimacy 
for the box with the seller prior to meeting and he had disclosed there was no way I could open it. See, if you have the money there um, and you're saying, hey, we're going to open it if as long as it looks good when we open it, you have the money. You can have the, We got the money right there. The transaction's ready to be made. That's the conditions. I just want to open it. They should allow you to open it. If they're not, they're probably hiding something. Uh, and this guy definitely was. So upon the seller calling me saying he was outside, I immediately noticed the person I was meeting with was not who I was speaking with. He sent his friend or someone else to actually handle the deal. Ooh, okay, so either he was pretending to be someone else and then showed up and said it was his friend, but it was him. Uh, or, and then that's like another, I guess that was his, his way of getting out on it. Like he didn't know what he was talking about. He didn't have to like pretend or to know anything about it because he's the friend that is being sent. Uh, again, it could just be some sketch dog sending another sketch dog saying, Hey, go get this money and uh, I'll give you a cut. Hard to say. Maybe, maybe we'll have to reach out here to Chris, uh, and, uh, and get some more details. See if we can do a little bit of digging. See if we can mess with these absolute wiener baby Supremes. The person who was standing outside the bank holding the Skyridge box had no recollection of our conversations on Facebook. Therefore, I told him I think it's fake and I need to open it. He allowed me to do so. And here is what happened. Mm. So if he let you open it, maybe it was someone that he sent. That's that's uh, the whole thing is very weird. Uh, it is uh, very sketchy to the extreme, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't blame you for wanting to open this bad boy. He led me to do it, and here's what happened. I'm sure there's many things I could have or should have said slash did to capture this content slash seller more accurately. However, my biggest goal was protecting my investment, and I was very nervous being in a city I'm unfamiliar with, plenty of cash, and a stranger. Stay safe, everyone. Yeah, so def you definitely don't want to be doing this uh, going here on, on your own because, again, they, they, they could have multiple people that just kind of mug you, take your money, and, and, and take off. All right, next. Let's uh, play the video. Man, okay, I want you guys to tell me, does does the seller here or the seller's friend that's dropping this stuff off, does it not remind you of the guy that's, uh, that's like a, uh, what, what is it, he's got like the, is it the car? He's like, just take a look, just take a look at it, that guy, does it, does it just, just listen. Oh, we just, I just fold open this, that's yeah, it, yeah, nice yeah, yeah, and sure, easy. Sure, sure. And we take this up. There's the box topper, mm -hmm. that's a good sign. Okay. It's a very good sign. Yeah. Very good sign. Okay, ever so carefully. Close this to right here. Again, ever so carefully folding these you open. Must have worked at a gate on a store, a card store. <laughs> well, at the moment, those look I tell nice. you. Those look real. At the moment, I tell you, bro. Since this is your product, I got to be so, so, so careful. Yeah, yeah, heck it. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take this. And if so, you like them, we can do more business. Yeah. Now this is, hmm, unfortunately, it's open, this one. And they're not real. These are new, unfortunately. That they're new? Yep. It says it right on it. 2022. Hey. Yep. Sorry about that, brother. No good, bro. So don't get anything from him? It's not real. Now, we do, I just fold open. So, <laughs> I don't get anything for them. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Um, like, I get that maybe he didn't quite know what was going on, but then when he asked him if he's, like, in a card store and they can do more business, like, clearly this is an ongoing thing that they're doing. I'm glad that he actually, um, even though he was being careful with it, I am, uh, I'm very glad that, uh, that Chris ended up uh, folding the box up so that it's, it's at least going to appear more creased and maybe be, like, make it more difficult for them to reseal this again uh, and sell it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's it's best if uh, if this gets sent to the authorities uh, so they can take action and make sure that these people are not ripping somebody else off. Um, not everyone knows to check or would have thought to like to open this up. Uh, and again, it's it's a real box. Um, I, I, the pictures, the the video here is not perfect, uh, but to me, like a, a fake box is not going to look this good. The wrap, 
yeah, it's uh, it's it's probably fake. Let's see. Now we do. If I can, uh, if I, I can just pause this. Open this. So at first I was thinking that there was like it was the the really you know the uh, the Etsy the Etsy was it Etsy Alibaba one of those sites. They had uh, wrap that it basically didn't have the R on the wizards, and I can't really see it here. Uh, it's hard to see, and I thought maybe it wasn't there. But if we look at a, a, the other video, um, even the the frequency of the wizards logos is pretty good considering. Um, the only thing uh, that is going to really throw us off here, uh, if we take a look at this video here, I want you guys to pay attention to the corners, uh, anything like that. But if we take a take a look at this box here, like this is red, this is immediate red flag. Uh, whether the wrap is real wrap from some other magic product that was bigger, so they're able to crimp it and shrink it down onto the box, so it doesn't look like it was like torn off and put back on, or it's not fake wrap. I still think it's fake wrap. Um, uh, and it, maybe they, maybe they have fake wrap with an R on it now. Uh, but it, you notice like wear and tear, and this is going to be way easier in person and why I would encourage people to make sure you're paying with a method that is, you can get your money back or, and, or make sure that you're seeing it in person or you have somebody looking at it that's familiar with this stuff, uh, or have them, you know, if you can open the box even better. Uh, if you're going to open it anyway, then it's probably a good idea to do so to verify that the contents are not like obviously resealed or anything like that. The box topper should not have a bunch of like wear on it. Sometimes the box topper was in there. The real box topper was in there. That's just so if anyone's like pushing down on this to see if there's a box topper in there, then it's going to show up. The rest of it's all resealed modern cards. And we've seen that song and dance many times, but the wear and tear on the box, especially on the Wizards logos, like the Wizards logos are not invincible. Uh, they're not going to be pristine. Uh, we could see that there was wear on the box. Uh, there wasn't, it was a pretty clean box. Uh, but there was wear on the box that wasn't matching up. So like your wrap should have anywhere that's got like a little corner dents and, and scratches and stuff like that. There should kind of, there should be a, a, a wrap and box equivalent on most of that stuff now the the perforations and stuff like that they can be a little bit worn because people will push down on it to see if there's a box topper in it it might have had stuff sitting on it for who knows how long uh, it might have been slid around on some tables or in boxes or even from the factory sometimes you get a little bit of wear and tear on the, the wizard's logos if the wizard logos are just white as a ghost and they look like they're brand new um again we got to go with like shape and everything else too so uh, again, if you're buying anything like this, make sure you know it top and bottom. I'm going to watch all the way through this and then we will, maybe we'll pause to see, uh, if there's anything, uh, that we can take a glance at, but you can see here, like the, the wizard's logo here, like on the edges, no zero wear, like it's still all white. Um, it's not going to be the same material that's like printed onto the plastic if it is a fake wrap, but do be careful because there's, there's some that is a very deceptive. Uh, in terms of like the magic products that are larger than a booster box, than a Pokemon booster box, uh, they can uh, take that off of the magic product and put it on the Pokemon one, uh, and then kind of crimp it down themselves. Where are you from, New York? Mm hmm Oh, geez, you came way out from out here? Yeah. Oh, dang. That's, that's, a, that's a long trip. Yeah, it's about three and a half hours. Dang. The yep. small, the small talk. Sorry about that, brother. No good, bro. So don't get anything from them? It's not real. So yeah, this is, uh, yeah. I, from New York? Mm -hmm. The whole situation, the no story. Yeah. Oh, I tell this That's to people all the time. Trip. Yeah. They'll show me a picture of a box. Like I can't tell from that picture. It's dark. It's, I can't, I can't see. I can't tell you. I'm not going to give you advice on whether or not the box is real. Uh, I can, I can tell people if you want to post in the discord general chat and get an opinion. Uh, then you can, but remember, it's from photos, and it is it's basically impossible to guarantee uh, the fact that something is resealed or not resealed from photos if a good job is done of it. If it's something like this, you post this in the Discord general chat. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. You post that in there, uh, this video clip here, uh, I can tell you right away that this is fake. Um, without even without comparing basically images or anything like that because there's there's just no way like we got we got little dents and dings on the box itself uh, but for some reason the 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 Watsi logos are just invincible uh, they're they're like the day they were born brand new spanking spanking white uh, so that's uh, yeah, that's the, the biggest thing hours. here 
Not to mention the fact that they made Chris drive three and a half hours, I'm guessing, one way. So he's got to drive three and a half hours back. Uh, didn't get any Skyridge, uh, but at least he didn't get ripped off. At least he didn't lose the money on this one. Uh, and uh, yes, we will need to look into this wiener dog uh, and see if this is like an ongoing thing that he's doing. Uh, if there's more listings and, and stuff like that that's coming from similar accounts, similar area, then we're going to take him down. He's down. We're taking him down. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, there's a little lax one. I thought this was important. Every now and then we'll touch on this stuff. Uh, the more I can uh, teach you guys, the more difficult it's going to be for the scammers. I know someone's going to be like, oh my God, the scammers, they're going to know, they're going to watch rattle videos and they're going to know how to scam. Uh, no, if there's uh, comparisons, guys, always comparisons, always get the full story of where it came from. Always pay with a method that protects your butthole and you'll be all right. Take care of each other out there. Bye.